Religion, The Real Matrix, the book based on African spirituality and mythology from ancient Kemet or Egypt. Written by author Heru Ifangbemi, the book shows that all Western religions, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam plagiarized from African spiritual systems to come up with their religions. Buy the book on Amazon. Link is in the description box. Let's go. Live. This is your writer, Anthony L. Kelly, right here. Check it out. These are my books. Mac, Jaja, book, Sunshine, and this is my first book published, Saving Miss Carolina, and this is my latest, El Manic. Uh, go check this book out, man. This is a nod at hip hop on its 50th anniversary. This is uh, a nod to one of the illest MCs to ever do it, Nasir Jones. I'll leave all the, the links in the description box. Salute to everybody who's ever supported me, man. Y'all go support your boy, Anthony L. Kelly. Check till next time. I'm out. What up, what up, y'all? It's your man, Sam. And here at Vile Hip Hop News, go ahead and hit that like button. Smash that notification bell, and if you're not subscribed to Vile Hip Hop News, ladies and gentlemen, what are you waiting for? Subscribe right now to The Brand. Appreciate each and every one of y'all, and let's get to work. All right, we've been talking about Jamie Foxx and his condition for almost a month now. As crazy as that sounds, I believe it's been a solid three weeks. We're going on the fourth week. Haven't heard much from Jamie Foxx himself. Heard a lot from his family, friends. I know Charlie Mack has been asking people to pray for Jamie Foxx. And every time Charlie Mack says it, it goes absolutely crazy on social media. You got TMZ, Hollywood Unlocked, Shade Room, everybody else picking it up and throwing out their prayers. But we haven't heard from Jamie Foxx. And there's been a lot of speculation as to what really happened. People were throwing out the stroke. People were throwing out heart attack. People were throwing out all kinds of things. But the family and his circle have been very tight-knit about exactly his condition and what is going on. But we can all see from him still being hospitalized that whatever it is, is a lot more serious than we may have originally assumed or imagined. Well, Jamie Foxx today went on his social media and he broke his silence, I guess you could say, albeit through a post. He went on and said this, appreciate all the love, feeling blessed. And then you see the emojis at the bottom. Well, this was good news. This was a good sign to see because like all... Or like we said on the podcast, if Jamie was good, he would drop something on social media. He's very heavy on social media. He definitely spreads news and awareness on his social media platform. So if he were to be okay, if he were to say something, it would definitely be on social media. He went in and texted. He didn't show himself, which also gives me the inclination that he is currently going through something still. And he doesn't want people to see him. Maybe in his current condition, maybe in a hospital bed. Whatever the case may be, that is his prerogative and his business. At the end of the day... I'm just happy this brother's alive. Real talk. And I hope that he can get on the road of recovery to live a full and complete life, even if that unfortunately takes him off the movie screen, takes him off the stage. Um, all of that is very premature at the time. All you want to see is for this brother to be able to live a full standing life, to take care of his children, to take care of his children's children and family and whatever else the case may be. So this looks like a good sign that we are moving in that direction. But like people have been saying, let's continue to keep Jamie Foxx in our prayers. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think of this situation. You guys have been so dope dropping your comments and let me know how you feel about all the videos. I appreciate y'all from the bottom of my heart. Keep doing the damn thing. Keep sharing the videos. Keep spreading awareness for viral hip-hop news. It helps more than you know, man. But until next time, until next story, Sam Ant, CEO of the brand Viral Hip Hop News. I love each and every one of y'all. Love yourselves. And I'm out of here, man. Peace.